Good news. Mary Brown finally got married. Reveal her husband. Sister Wives Season 19. Mary Brown has finally tied the knot. This news might come as a surprise, especially after her divorce from Cody Brown. Now that she's free, Mary can marry if she chooses. Loneliness is indeed painful and can weaken a person, making life feel ugly and unhappy. Everyone needs a partner to share their life with, and while Mary may not actually be married yet, the idea of her getting married highlights the importance of companionship. Cody Brown's multiple marriages were largely for his own satisfaction, often neglecting whether his wives were truly happy or if he could adequately meet their needs. This oversight led most of his wives to leave him, except for Robin. It's crucial to understand that everyone deserves to have a partner who genuinely cares for them. Mary Brown, like anyone else, deserves to find happiness and companionship in her life. This imagined scenario of her marriage underscores the significance of having a supportive and loving partner. Cody's marriages seem to focus more on his desires rather than fostering a fulfilling relationship for all involved. In essence, Mary Brown's potential marriage serves as a reminder of how vital it is to have someone special in one's life. True companionship can bring joy, strength, and a sense of completeness that everyone deserves. As we reflect on Mary's journey, it's clear that finding a loving partner is an essential aspect of a happy and meaningful life. Mary Brown, known from the reality show Sister Wives, is preparing to launch her new business venture. However, she might be facing potential trademark issues. The controversy stems from her choice of the business name, Worthy Up, which she admittedly borrowed from a newly released book by Jamie Kern Lima. Mary has faced scrutiny over her business dealings in the past. Her involvement with the multi-level marketing company Lularo, which was criticized for its dubious practices, left a blemish on her reputation. Despite this, she is now focusing on becoming a speaker, writer, and coach under her new business name. Critics argue that her tumultuous marriage with Cody Brown undermines her credibility as a life coach. Mary remained in a strained relationship with Cody, hoping for reconciliation, but eventually, she decided to leave him, which has seemingly brought her more happiness and personal growth. Since separating from Cody, Mary has been concentrating on her own well-being and self-improvement. She has expressed optimism about finding love again and has been sharing a more positive outlook on life. This new chapter has been well-received by Sister Wives fans, who have noticed her improved demeanor and newfound focus on herself. Mary has been hinting at her Worthy Up business for some time. In 2022, she posted videos of herself hiking in the mountains, discussing the concept of being worthy. By 2023, she was actively using the hashtag hashtag WorthyUp in her social media posts. She finally disclosed the inspiration behind the name, attributing it to Jamie Kern Lima's book, Worthy, How to Believe You Are Enough and Transform Your Life. Mary found Lima's book deeply inspiring and shared her enthusiasm by posting a photo with it on Instagram. The potential trademark issue arises from the similarity between Mary's business name and Lima's book title. While Mary's intention was to honor the book's empowering message, the overlap could lead to legal complications if the name is deemed too similar to Lima's trademarked title. In essence, Mary Brown's new business, Worthy Up, aims to inspire and empower women, much like Jamie Kern Lima's book. However, the potential for trademark infringement looms, which could pose significant challenges for Mary's entrepreneurial efforts. This situation highlights the complexities that can arise when drawing inspiration from existing works, especially when those works are protected by intellectual property laws. Despite the potential legal hurdles, Mary remains determined to proceed with her new venture. Her journey from a challenging marriage to a focus on self-worth and empowerment reflects the very message she aims to convey through her business. Whether she will need to rebrand or face legal action remains to be seen, but her dedication to promoting a message of worthiness and self-belief continues to drive her forward. Mary Brown, one of the stars from the popular reality show Sister Wives, is navigating a challenging situation concerning the trademark of her new business venture, Worthy Up.
This predicament arose shortly after she explained the inspiration behind the name to her fans. Brown revealed that although her new business and its name were conceptualized before February 2024, they coincidentally share the same name with a book released in that month. This overlap has led to speculation about potential trademark conflicts. In a candid admission, Mary expressed her internal struggle over whether to proceed with the worthy up name. The reality star confessed she felt a moment of doubt, describing how she shrunk a little inside at the thought of being perceived as copying the book's title. This hesitation highlights the complexities often faced by entrepreneurs when establishing a brand, especially when similar names exist in the market. Despite her initial reservations, Mary decided to move forward with her chosen name. She justified her decision by reflecting on the personal significance and impact of the Worthy Up concept. Mary emphasized that her journey in creating this movement was deeply meaningful, reinforcing her choice to use the name regardless of the potential for misunderstanding. I couldn't help but come back to how impactful my experience was to me in creating the name and idea for the Worthy Up movement, Mary concluded in her explanation to fans. This statement underscores her commitment to her vision and the personal growth that inspired it. However, the decision to proceed with the Worthy Up name raises questions about possible legal challenges. Trademark law is designed to protect brands and prevent consumer confusion, and using a name already associated with a published book could indeed lead to disputes. The crucial issue will be whether the author of the book has trademarked the name and whether the services offered by Mary's business are similar enough to the book's content to cause confusion. Given the complexities of trademark law, Mary may face legal scrutiny. If the book's author has secured a trademark for Worthy Up, they might have grounds to challenge Mary's use of the name. This could result in a legal battle where Mary would need to prove that her use of Worthy Up does not infringe on the established trademark or create market confusion. On the other hand, if the book's title is not trademarked or if the book and Mary's business operate in distinctly different markets, Mary might avoid legal issues. It's possible that with proper legal advice and strategic branding, she could successfully navigate this challenge and solidify her brand. Ultimately, Mary Brown's new venture is a testament to her resilience and dedication to personal growth. However, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of thorough trademark research and legal consultation when launching a new brand. Whether or not she faces trademark issues, Mary's journey with Worthy Up is a compelling example of the trials and triumphs in the world of entrepreneurship. Fans and observers will undoubtedly be watching closely to see how this situation unfolds and how Mary continues to evolve her business. Whether or not she faces trademark issues, Mary's journey with Worthy Up is a compelling example of the trials and triumphs in the world of entrepreneurship. Fans and observers will undoubtedly be watching closely to see how this situation unfolds and how Mary continues to evolve her business.